Hello everybody, today I will be showing you how to set up the Wiimote whiteboard which turns any surface into an interactive touch screen. You will need a Bluetooth dongle, a Wii remote, and an infrared pen. So first, you will set up the connection to the Wii remote. You will plug the Bluetooth dongle in, then go to control panel, go to hardware and sound. This coming step is for the second time, or any time after the first time which you are setting the connection up. This tutorial will show you how to set it up using the d default Bluetooth stack in Windows 7. So, if this is the second time, or not the first time that you're setting it up, You'll go into Devices and Printers. And you will right-click the Nintendo controller and remove the device. Then <coughs> you will go into Add a Bluetooth device. Here you will take your Wii remote and click both the 1 and 2 buttons at once and keep on clicking them as you set up so the Wii remote won't go to sleep otherwise you'll have to start the process over so in the add a bluetooth device you will double click the Wii remote and pair without using a code which is the bottom option then wait for this to complete. And I'm still clicking these buttons simultaneously. Now you will wait for it to finish installing the device driver. Oh, sorry. Meanwhile, I will show you what software you can use. I have two pieces of software. One is the original by Johnny Chung Lee. It picks up the pen as a regular mouse cursor and is easy to set up. The other one is a little more complicated to set up, but in Windows 7 it can recognize the pen taps as touches as it would on a normal touch screen. Both of the links will be in the description below. So now that this driver has finished installing, we can open up our software. I will be showing you the touch recognition software. So it is running. You will open it up and connect to your Wii Remote. Then turn on Windows Touch, a uh, Windows 7 multi-touch events, and calibrate or recalibrate. Now I will need to prop up my Wii Remote so it can see the whole screen, far enough so it can see the whole screen, but not too far. Otherwise, it will lose tracking resolution and will be inaccurate. So I will point it at the TV. And then, I will take my infrared pen. You can see the light turning on on this camera, but you will not be able to see it with your own eyes. So, you touch the pen to the center and you click the button. And you do this for all of the dots. This is a standard four-point touch calibration, which lines up the screen projection to the Wii Remote's infrared camera so it knows where your pen is relative to the screen and now you can use this as a touch screen you can draw on it and write on it 
and you can do this for any surface. You can do this for a really large surface, or you can just use it with your computer screen. And normally, if you used it on a large TV display, if you had a large TV that was about 42 or 48 inches, it would cost well over a thousand dollars, but with this system it cost it usually costs under a hundred. So thanks for watching this tutorial on how to set up the Wiimote whiteboard. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.